Hey Photoshoppers, this is Justin Z from Mahalo Design with a five-parter request granted series. In these videos I respond to specific requests from users who have questions on how to use Photoshop. In this series I will be responding to Mr. Rahim Ali's question on how to make the effects in this picture. It's pretty easy Rahim, but it will require a few videos to answer and you will need a basic to intermediate understanding of Photoshop to apply this method in combat. Or or just apply it. The first thing I'm going to show you is isolating the image in a way that doesn't hurt it. The goal is to only show the subject and the background. And the picture I chose is this one because I thought that parkour or free running is the best example for creating paint effects. So press Command or Control J to duplicate our image. So you have the original image to always reference back to and then hide it so you don't have to look at it. Now. Let's gonna rename this Parkour Paint Splatter. And we're gonna grab the pen tool and we're going to mask him out along with the buildings. So I'm just gonna zoom in on him and mask him out the best I can. Okay, now that I've used the pen tool to isolate our subject as well as the buildings around him, I'm going to right click and select create vector mask and it gets rid of everything behind him. Now for easy reference, I'm going to make a new layer. I'm just going to call it white background. And I'm going to put it below my vector mask layer and I'm going to fill it with white. There we go. Now the beauty about vector masking when it comes to using the pen tool is I can change it whenever I like, which is to me really important in case I see some detail that I'm missing, like this part of his head right here. Just want to move that little piece of pen down and there you go. Makes life a lot easier when it comes to making changes to our image without hurting it permanently. So now that we have our subject completely isolated, in the next video, I'm going to start adding paint elements from images I found in Google, and I'm going to show you how to integrate them as if they were already part of the image.